Hello. Today I'd like to show you the Parasoft security dashboard for SEI Cert C compliance. We've created a whole new set of widgets that you can see here that apply specifically to cybersecurity as it relates to the Cert C secure coding standard. So for example, on the left here, you can see I quickly take into account the levels that are part of the Cert risk scoring framework, and I can quickly see that my project isn't in compliance. Next to this, I see my Cert C compliance rules. So I can see the Cert C rules that are okay, how many of those guidelines and how many of those are in violation. I also can see the recommendations and how many violations I have, etc. Each of these items can be filtered by priority, category, level, severity, whether they're rules or recommendations to make it very configurable to meet your security needs. I can drag and drop these widgets all around so that I can put the ones most important to me right on top of my desktop, and I can change the filtering so that I could see, for example, instead of everything, I just want to see rules, but I do want to see all levels of, of rule violations and instantly the widget comes up to snuff. Everything on this page works in that same way. I also have this really cool tree map that shows me the code in my application and where the problems are. The green code is in compliance, the yellow has some low severity problems, and the red boxes are where my problems are. So let's click one of those, and what happens is it takes us to the Parasoft Violation Explorer, where I see every violation of this standard, file name and line number. I can click on them, and it takes me right to that line of code. And I can go in there, and I can change. I can put comments. I can suppress issues. I can set actions that need to be done, due dates. I can see who's worked on it and when. And I can see when did the violation first occur, what branches of the code are it in. And I can also actually see the documentation telling me all about what is this problem, why does it matter, what's some bad code, what's some good code. And in the end, I can actually go right back to the CERT website, to the wiki, and look up the rule to see exactly what it does and why and why I should care about it. On top of all of that, we have implemented the CERT risk framework. And you see here in this bullseye dashboard, how your code is working against each level of the CERT risk framework. So I see I have quite a few level one violations, but not so many. I've got 636 violations of the level one, the highest uh, importance issues. Now from here, I get my entire list and I can send this off to a compliance officer to show what I did. I can also filter it specifically for my plan. So if I say, well, rules are what matters to me, then I can just set it for rules and I get that instantly. Again, I can even set it to show all rules. I can set it to only show me things that aren't compliant and boom, right away, I know what I need to fix. It also produces the conformance testing plan that you need to file if you're trying to prove CERT conformance, showing you on the left which CERT guideline is met by which Parasoft rule on the right and what the severities and policies that you have set around this are. So we've got everything here you need to do very effective remediation of CERT issues as well as all the reports necessary to meet your compliance needs. So check out the Parasoft CERT Compliance Dashboard.